Hello YouTube, this is Hot Queen's I back with another video, back with another message. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you guys for all of the support, all of the likes, comments, shares, and subscribes is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. So we're just going to hop right into this. I will be starting out with the uh, Numenology deck. Let's see what comes out here. Let's get a prayer in. Loving ancestors of my highest good, my highest light, my highest frequency. Please help me to channel these messages clear and concise with truth and clarity. Please block any and all negative interference during this message. Please return to sender tenfold. Thank you. Horseshoes could be um, significant. Somebody could think that you're lucky in a situation, but it's not luck. It's, it's, it's just real life blessings. Somebody had a grip on something, but they losing a grip. <laughs> they losing a grip. What's the message here? Thank you. Meditate and contemplate here. So some of you could need to meditate on a situation pray on a situation some of you could already be doing this looking for answers at the bottom we have a personal issue reaches resolution here and then you and your loved ones are safe with your commitment is being tested here so whatever whatever answers you're looking for whatever situation you're going through it's it's really the most high testing to see how how dedicated you are how committed you are to something sorry y'all it's the most high testing you to see how committed you are to a situation here how committed you are to him cancer here some of you could be dealing with a cancer or a pisces some of you um with this meditate and the new moon and pisces here pisces is high priestess energy cancer is mother energy as well you could be needing to bring out uh, <laughs> a more loving uh, persona here maybe not even to others just more to yourself here to you and your loved ones because it says you and your loved ones are safe here we got new moon in cancer and we got full moon in cancer Some of you, shit, some of you, your children could be testing you right now. <laughs> they could be testing you right now. Or maybe this is somebody you know, like their children is testing them. This could be for some of uh, the fathers out there as well, needing to tap into that that motherly energy here.
Some of you could be about to um, partner up. And maybe you're feeling like it's not going to work. <laughs> Somebody just commented and said, here comes the boom. <laughs> oh, shit. So some of you, it's about it's about to be a tower that's about to hit. <laughs> be a tower that's about to hit what's the message here what's this meditate and contemplate here somebody could be dreaming of fish for some of you you could be getting ready to have twins or you have twins here Meditate and contemplate here. We got the lovers here. This is twins. right now some of you would just meditate and contemplate some of you and maybe in Gemini season here with the lovers some of you could have been um, contemplating about you making the right decision here or if you were wondering if you were making healthier decisions healthier choices in your life and and whatever the way you eat the way you act for a lot of you you're really stepping into your north node here but some of you you also have cancer in your north node I, I, I can't show so much so you see this is the woman here she's looking up to this angel it's like with the meditate and contemplate it's like is this it is this the one is this what I should be doing is this the right move I'm going to make <laughs> or that I should make and then the next card it says a personal issue reaches resolution here this is um involving work here or what you do for work with this lovers and the meditate and contemplate and 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 the divine feminine here looking up to the angels for guidance and it's like trust your intuition because this new moon is in pisces like i said pisces is high priestess energy so trust your intuition but with the lovers out here i mean it's not the devil card so with the lovers out here it's like you're on the right path here both of you are fruitful though like i don't see hmm hmm <laughs> Some of you, your masculine could have um, fire in a chart. But like, I can't really show you the card. If you have the lover's card at home, like nothing is attached to either one of these people on this card here. So where it's like, it could have been snakes trying to trying to grab your fruit here in this masculine's uh 
abundance or their passion or whatever here. Like nothing is attached to either one of you. For some of you, that could be what you're meditating, meditating about or praying about here. If you should detach from a situation, but trust your intuition. What's this personal issue uh, reaches resolution here? We got the moon here. And the Queen of Pentacles. I didn't even realize it was turned over. behind the scenes here. Yeah. <laughs> Seven of Swords here. Ooh, wee. So for some of you, it could be a Queen of Pentacles, man or woman, that's trying to do something behind the scenes here. Because they know that you, for some of you, this is regarding work. For some of you, this is regarding a relationship here. Somebody is trying to do some snake shit here. This could be a queen of pentacles planning to take an empress's spot here. Then we got the, the, the star at the bottom of the deck with the five of wands, knight of cups five of pentacles somebody is going to try to come back in here they, they could also be fucking with you in your dreams in the dream state with this meditate and contemplate here Whatever they're going to try to plan to do here with this seven of swords to you, that shit going backfire like a motherfucker in their face. This could have already happened. And maybe you was feeling like the nine of cups wanted to come through. And then here go the nine of swords. <laughs> we got these same two cards yesterday. Whatever somebody did or get ready to do on the moon here, it could have had you questioning, uh, questioning who you are here, but you're coming out as the empress here. this is really dealing with work here so something could have happened at your job with a co-worker like you know people really be jealous over the smallest shit here and this could be somebody that was that's already in a higher position than you and they feel some kind of way about your work ethic or or how you are um i'm hearing available but it's it's more so like adaptive like you're like you're able to adapt to any situation and it be fucking people head up and they don't like it and they don't they don't like it and they be finding themselves in situations where it's like they could be trying to like lie on you or plan something for for something for to happen to you and that shit blows up in their face 
that shit blows up in their face. Because it's like, no matter what, whether it was somebody wife with the Queen of Pentacles, you're, you're coming out as the fucking Empress. With the lovers. So somebody's wife could have, um, or ex-wife could feel some kind of way that they partner is leaving them here. So they want to try to plot and plan and scheme some shit for you. This could be a man too. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles with the judgment here. Somebody want to just spot. What I said, the tower. <laughs> the tower. Something blew up in somebody's face. Because with the four of pentacles, somebody had an attachment to something. So, like I said in the beginning, with this lover's card right here, this masculine and this feminine here is like they're not attached to anything. This is like this is like two people who is really letting shit just go naturally here. But still asking for guidance in the in the process. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's like if somebody with the seven of swords and the moon here. It's like if somebody is willing to go to this lens here to do all of this shit in the background, but you are out in the open like you don't mind being who you are here this is why your commitment is being tested because a new romantic cycle <laughs> is about to begin for you here so for a lot of you this is work for a lot of you this is regarding a partnership here and it's becoming too much for somebody to bear they don't like it yeah six of wands they don't like it nine of swords like it but that's not up to them they don't have to like shit i was just getting ready to say the four of wands because <laughs> we got the ten of wands to the six right that's four just the four of wands right here with the two of cups and the temperance this this partnership is protected here and this is like your angels telling you like, yes, this is the one. This is the one, man or woman. Yes, this is the one. <laughs> For others of you with this moon and the seven of swords, this is like, this is also like, um, Somebody planning to make you their wife here. Yeah, this King of Cups. Somebody can't believe it. Somebody, somebody can't believe that they didn't get picked here with this nine of swords they didn't get picked i was just gonna say i don't know what's up with this lighting it's not dark yet For some of you, like I said, whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, this could be somebody ex-wife. And they are really at a breaking point. Like, because they're not, whatever they was trying to do here, whoever they was trying to keep, whatever position they was trying to keep, it's, they lost it. They lost it. Being a liar, being sneaky, doing shit in the background. Confirmation.
and some shit poured up to them. With this six of cups right here, this shit caught up. And somebody walked away here to get to this two of cups here. So eight and two is, I mean, yeah, eight and two is 10. It's like whoever stayed in a relationship was only staying for financial gain. It, it wasn't no love. Queen of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. All they wanted was was a, a here, can I have this? Can I have that? Can you buy me this? Can you buy me that? Can you do this? Can we go here? Can you do that? Well, bitch, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? And somebody was tired of that shit. They was making it hard for the motherfucker that was doing shit. But they was doing that shit out the kindness of their heart because that's who they are. And somebody was taking advantage of that with this seven of swords here. And somebody had enough. Somebody had enough. Somebody let their pride and their ego get in the way here. King of Swords with the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody realized they was dealing with a karmic here because this the devil card. <laughs> yeah, the Six of Pentacles, yo. All somebody wanted was a fucking handout. Can you do this? Can you do that? Can you do this? Can you do that? No, what the fuck are you doing? Somebody could have been taking whatever money they was given and investing it in, in somebody else here. Or this is a man and or woman here. That's the fucking narcissist here. Devil, seven of pentacles with the king of swords. They're a fucking narcissist here. And somebody kept trying to realize why they was up all damn night with this nine of swords, not getting no sleep. It's because somebody was trying to attach themselves to somebody here. Attach themselves to their person, to their money, to their success. It wasn't for love. And for some of you with this, your commitment is being tested with a new romantic cycle begins. This is going to be a test for you. It's like, okay, you done been, been with all these karmic soulmates, devil with the two of cups. And this is all these people wanted, man or woman. And it's like, okay, you done healed, right? The temperance. You done gained some peace and some balance and, 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 and all of that goodness in your life after you let these people go. And somebody new is coming in. For some of you, you could already know this person. We do got the six of cups out here. For some of you, you do know this person. But this is going to be where your commitment is going to be tested. But you're going to be okay. <laughs> you're going to be okay. Lovers, four of wands, two of cups, six of wands. <laughs> Temperance, okay. Empress. Somebody was trying to come off as an empress, but they're a fraud. Seven of Swords. Whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, they was coming off as an empress. Like they attract, but they doing shit behind the scenes here. Trying to force somebody to be with them or force somebody to love them. And like I said earlier with this lovers, it's like you two individuals, you're not attached to anything. You're letting shit flow. <laughs> you're letting shit flow. Judgment with the tower here. Listen. Okay. Damn, that's crazy how I just tapped the phone and <laughs> that joint lit up. I knew it wasn't dark out here. Sorry if y'all couldn't see some of the cards. Just listen to the message. Hopefully you can hear me. <laughs> 
but people was forcing themselves onto you here, trying to attach themselves to you here. Because they know where the goodness is. I just heard good juju. Listen, Wheel of Fortune with the Ace of Swords at the top of the deck. This is not a fucking game, yo. <laughs> this is not a game. And when you guys go into, into meditation or prayer or whatever it is that you do to gain clarity, you're, you're, it's going to be made, no, made, made known to you. Like I said, horseshoes could be significant. Somebody could think that you're lucky, but this is just blessings. This is something that's destined here with this will of fortune. This is destined. It don't matter if if somebody is sending a ex or a current partner that they with to do some shit to you to make something go they way. It's not going to happen. It's just going to make they fall that much harder. That's all it's going to do. For some of you, if this is a wife, they have to pay like alimony or something like that. Maybe even child support. But, okay. This motherfucker said, I don't give a fuck what you want. Here, just get the fuck up out of the way. <laughs> Somebody was all the way in the way. Yeah, they was ready to take that leap. Five of Wands with the tower here. I just heard fighting for rights. So somebody could be fighting for rights. Yeah, hang man with the devil here. Somebody got trapped with a baby that they don't even want. Wow. Trying to force a situation to go in their favor. That's not how you do that shit, yo. That's not how you do it. It's really not how you do that shit. You got to let shit flow. And this is why it's going to be fucking a lot of people heads up. When you do start this new cycle here. This new romantic cycle. Sent from heaven. <laughs> That's Keisha Cole. This is why... Whoever you are about to be with here, this is really heaven sent here. This is really heaven sent. And right now, you two aren't with each other here. Like I said, for some of you, you know this person. For some of you, you don't. But y'all not together right now. And this is why your commitment is being tested. Let's see. For some of you, it's going to be people that walked away from you, from your past, that's going to be trying to come back in here. Don't fucking do it. Don't fucking do it. Motherfuckers going to be trying to, to yeah, hey, you know, I got this together, I got that together, and you going to be like, good. <laughs> you should have been did that. Because a lot of you have already ascended to a level to where it's like, even though these, some, some of these people may have started a journey, right? But you are nowhere near where you used to be. Like, you really ascended so much that these people are still in a low vibration. <laughs> like, this shit's crazy. This is crazy. But they're going to try to make it like they on their shit. They, they learned their lesson. I know what it is now. Okay, good. Now take that and, and, and apply that to somebody else. Because where you are going and who you are about to be with, none of these people can be around you. They walked away for a reason or you walked away for a reason.
But you're protected. Yeah, I saw that seven of wands and the temperance is out here. Whatever, if, if it's people that's trying to give you something to try to butter you up or something like that, because they play off of, they play off of your energy. Be mindful of that. <laughs> Be mindful of that. Let me get a couple more messages. It's getting dark now. <laughs> A lot of these people, I'm telling you, they're going to be hurt. Yeah, here go the emperor right here. The emperor's already out here. Yeah, your emperor, he he he's self-reflecting right now with this hermit. That's what I'm saying. He could be self-reflecting on, on, on shit that he was going through or his, uh, with the devil right here. You probably can't see it. There you go. The way he was thinking. You, you've done that, right? Here go the seven of wands. People doing this shit to your masculine. Because they really don't want this union to come together here. But it's the will of fortune. It's destined. It's faded. Got the, got the key to something or you're about to get the key to something with this ace of swords out here you're about to get the key to something here and whoever these people is that thought they was getting over you in the past they gonna be is they gonna be feeling like it's a competition it ain't no fucking competition How's a competition with with karmic females and and, and and karmic masculines to a to a divine masculine and divine feminine? It ain't no fucking competition. This shit crazy. Yeah, these motherfuckers. Listen, four of cups with the three of swords. They missed the opportunity. And look, <laughs> the hierophant. They missed the opportunity. Cause like I said, with the two of cups after that, this is heaven sent here. And some of these people in this with and gonna be in this nine of swords is gonna be feeling like damn you was having sent man or woman but it's gonna be too late because they had a chance and they missed their opportunity they missed it focusing on the wrong shit trying to feel like they 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 want to have you in competition with another man or another woman how sway even if you did have sleepless nights, even if you was worried if somebody was out there cheating on you or doing you dirty and all that kind of shit. Yeah, they was. Ace of Swords, they was. Don't take none of these motherfuckers back. Don't take them back. Especially these these good looking women, you know, got the got the nice bodies and all that kind of shit with the big asses and the pretty smiles. What what do you say? What was that Belle Viv DeVoe? That girl is poison. <laughs> Listen, don't fucking do it. <laughs> don't do it. And even for the women, you want to see nice looking men and all of that kind of shit. Don't fucking do that shit. That's your commitment being tested. Do you really want this divine partner? Or do you really just want to be with a karmic soulmate? That's what you should be meditating and contemplating about. You want to keep dealing with somebody that's going to keep you up at night. That's going to keep you worried. That's always bringing you anxiety. That's going to be giving more to other people than they are to you, but they want to be with you. Like, listen to the shit that they be saying. And then listen to the shit that they don't say. 
That's the most important. Oh, well, all this person is worried about is this, and it's not even about that. It's not about you getting gifts. Because that's that that's that devil thinking, right? That's that that's that negative thinking. Oh well, the next person they that's all they like. So all I gotta do is get them a little bit of this and get them a little bit of that, and they gonna be good. No, that's not how that shit go. That's not how that go. So if it's anybody that's still out here fucking on, on, over on this moon, oh well. A lot of these people don't even don't even realize they they risking their own fucking life. And clearly, if they doing that, they don't give a fuck about their life. But you give a fuck about yours because you've made healthier decisions. For the most part, you've let go of negative thinking. And you really be on some shit like, fuck it. Some of you going to be by yourself because you don't want to deal with nobody. And that's okay, too. But for those of you that are going to be with somebody, it's going to be destined, it's going to be meant, and you're going to feel it. That's the difference. You're going to feel that shit. You're not going to feel the, the, the trauma. You're not going to feel anxiety. You're not going to feel that burning sensation in your chest. Because <laughs> when you feel that real shit, because that's somebody fucking with you. Because they want you to think negative of your person. Until you snap out of that shit. So guys, I'm going to end it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I will talk to you guys on the next video. Peace.